knew the, the prisons that, that each one of us has. And he was willing to speak into it and tell people that the doors to the prison, because of the death and resurrection of Jesus, they, they now stand wide open. That because Jesus is not in the grave anymore, I mean, just think of that. Jesus isn't in there anymore. Death couldn't hold him anymore. And so because of that, it, it literally changes everything. It means that the powers, the old powers that used to rule our life, that dominated our life, are no longer in control anymore. They're no longer in control. In control. So it's good news on the one hand, because the old powers are no longer in control. But what so often happens in those situations is that when the old powers have been taken out, there's actually a power vacuum. And so there's good news on the other side as well. Because what it is, is that it's the good news in the sense that it's the way that Jesus's loving rulership now comes and takes place in your life. And that's what Paul has been spending so much time in the book of Romans fleshing out. He, he's been fleshing out the fact that Jesus in his love is the thing that sits at the center of your life. That's actual good news. That's not just good information. That's good news. 